Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Michael and I'm bitten by a radioactive book. Today I'm going to present you my February TBR and um, I have like a huge amount of books planned. I don't think I will get to every one uh, or every book um, but I try. I have a lot of buddy reading planned. I have some review copies that I want to read and review. So without further ado, let's get started by showing you the rather large pool of books I'm picking books from this month. Let's start with some books I'm taking into the new months out of January and I still need to finish. First off there will be The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. I'm like 75% into it and it's the first installment in the Wheel of Time series and uh, yeah, as I told you before, I want to read the Wheel of Time this year, reading one book per month, so this is going to happen as well of course as the sequel, the second book, um, The Great Hunt, uh, which I'll be reading then afterwards. So there will be like two books of the Wheel of Time series in here this month. The same thing goes for Rise of Empire by Michael J. Sullivan, the second installment in his Raeria Revelation series. Um, I'm buddy reading this and I will be buddy reading the third book, The Heir of Novron, in February as well. I'm like 60% through with this one, so I still need to finish it to continue with the second book in February. I also had planned to read um, Macaque Attack, the third book in the Ak Ak Macaque series in January. I didn't get to this one, so I want to try and get to it in February because this is one of my art copies and I'd like to do a review about it. Speaking of reviews, I have another series where I have a review book for. This is a thing called the Valhalla series. I'm not totally sure by Snorri Christiansen. It's a series um, about a secondary fantasy world that is a bit based on uh, northern mythology, I guess, or at least it has some uh, northern uh, European elements in it. Um, and the first installment is called Sword of Good Man and the second installment, that is the actual art copy I have, is called Blood Will Follow and uh, yeah, I'd like to get to both of them. My second large epic fantasy series I want to read this year is the Shadows of the Apt series by Michael Tchaikovsky. I already talked about it. It has very interesting world building where the different races are associated with different kind of insects and have some kind of insect qualities. I'm buddy reading this with Miriam from Paperback Please and uh, I'm going to read the second installment, uh, Dragonfly Falling, this month. Another plan of me was to read the Discworld series this year um, and I'm already at book 5 in the series so I want to read the 5th book Sorcery and maybe the 6th book, um, I don't know what it is, I think it's Witches Abroad but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to look that up and uh, have the correct cover here. Uh, so uh, maybe I get to one or two of, of those, but they don't have like the highest priority. Another fantasy I want to read is Timon's Flight by uh, Marie Victoria. It's the first in the Chronicles of the Tree trilogy um, and it <clears throat> has interesting world building as well because the world seems to be like a really large tree uh, and the people uh, drive between different branches. They have like airships for example for travel and that sounded really intriguing. I'm going to read this uh, with Joe from Retired Book Nerd as a buddy read. The next buddy read I have is with Terra from Terabyte it's uh, Crystal Rain by Tobias S. Buckle, I think, um, and that sounds really interesting. It's a science fiction book where people from Earth colonized another planet but then lost 
a lot of the technology I think they initial, uh, initially had and the uh, cultures that uh, are predominant here are a bit more like I think Caribbean uh, and Jamaican or something like that. So uh, that will be very interesting and also hopefully very interesting world building. Then. As you have seen in my weekly wrap-ups, I'm also part of the Neverlanders group that reads um, the series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. Um, uh, one book each week, so that will continue through the month. And uh, so uh, the plan is to read books 5 to 8 this month, and that would be the Austere Academy, the Azatz Elevator, the Wild Village, and the Hostile Hospital. As you also know, I'm part of like a, a larger group of booktubers who read a lot of SFF uh, together this year as buddy reads, and we have a lot of things uh, planned already for the month. So let's head into the books I'm reading with, um, yeah, always a few of them. First off, we have Hyperion by Dan Simmons. It's one of yeah the the classical. SF um, series, so I'm really interested. Uh, I already started this one and read like the first third of the first book, so I already know about uh, what I'm getting into, and so I'm already like like in the book. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to get through with it and see uh, um, where this is going. I'm also buddy reading the Old Man's War series by John Scalzi with Lindsay from Lindsay Ray. And this month we're reading the fourth installment, which is the Zoe's Tale. Speaking of John Scalzi, we are also reading Fuzzy Nation this month, uh, a very short uh, book. But uh, yeah, Lindsay Ray is a great fan of the book and a lot of the other booktubers are reading it this month. So I'm really looking forward to get into this one as well. Another series I'd like to start this month is the Shattered Sea series, the new YA series by Joe Abercrombie. I still can't really imagine how uh, an author like Joe Abercrombie is going to approach YA. That will be very interesting to see. And um, the second book in the series, Half the World, is released this month. Uh, um, today, actually, if you're in the UK, I think, uh, February 3rd, and February 17th, if you're in the US, um, and um, of course I haven't read like the first book in the series, Half a King, and therefore I'm trying to read like both of them this month. And in my effort to read um, all the Brent Sanderson books, um, I'm going to read The Rhythmatist this month um, as a buddy read as well, uh, and I'm really excited to get to it. If you have seen my top five books of 2014, one of them was Blood Song by Anthony Ryan, and a lot of other people enjoyed this. And later in the year, the third book, The Queen of Fire, will be available. And in preparation for this, we are going to read uh, Tower Lord, which is the second installment in the series. Personally, I find really interesting that the first book was like a single POV, first person narrative, and now in the second book we get more than one point of view. Actually, we're going to get four point of views, so three new POVs, and I'm really interested to see um, uh, how the author is going to handle this, because changing like the uh, approach of POV within a series I think is a really risky but really interesting choice. One of the most enjoyable books of last month was Inda by Sherwood Smith and so I'm really happy that we're going to read the second installment in the Inda series called The Fox this month. Yeah, and I'm really really eager to see what happens to all the characters in that really well-crafted world. 
And if you've seen yesterday's video, um, you saw that I was really fond of The Magicians by Lev Grossman. So we're going to continue with this series this month as well, and we're going to read The Magician King. Another series we're going to continue or conclude in this case is the uh, Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb. Uh, we've read like the first two books uh, over the last two months and this month we're reading um, Assassin's Quest which is the final installment. Um, yeah and we're all really psyched to see what's going to happen with uh, Fitz the main character. That, will, that book will be uh, emotionally draining uh, uh, I fear. Uh, but I also look forward to, to that. Um, so yeah, I'm really interested to see where Robin Hobb takes the series. And last month I also started with the Ima uh, Chronicles of the Imaginarium Geographica series by James A. Owen and was really positively surprised by uh, this kind of middle gradish um, approach to, uh, to fantasy. Um, and this month we are going to read The Search for the Red Dragon, which is the second installment of this seven book series. And last but not least, I also started The Song of the Lioness Quartet by Tamara Pierce in January and um, I'm going to read the second installment of the series uh, in the Hand of the Goddess, I hope it's called like that, um, this month. So there you have it, it's a really large and really ambitious pool uh, of books, but a lot of the books are actually very short reads. The Four Lemony Snicket books are always under 200 pages and roughly take up uh, uh, only an afternoon of reading for me. Uh, there are a lot of books that are uh, only like very shy of the 300 pages mark like uh, The Rhythmatist, um, The Search for the Red Dragons, uh, the books by John Scalzi, so the, uh, and also I think the, the Snorri Christiansen books, uh, uh, Macaque Attack. Um, so there are a lot of shorter books in there, so I hope I will have like a good mix of uh, getting quickly through the shorter books and and uh, yeah, taking my time with the longer, maybe more epic uh, books. So that's it for my February TBR. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what's coming up on my channel, please look inside the description box. There's a little segment there called On the Horizon. I wish you a good day and hope you get bitten by a really good book too. Bye.